The Avengers lead up leads us to the highly anticipated sequel, Iron Man 2. Now this time around we find Tony Stark as Iron Man living with the ramifications of being Iron Man. Now when you're a rich playboy philanthropist and you're Iron Man, people are gonna be people are gonna wanna be your friend, be your be your best friends or whatever, and people are gonna be jealous and, and people are gonna be your enemies. Just the facts of life. Just the facts of life. Now with that being said, one of his enemies, one of Tony Stark's enemies, Anton Banko, wants revenge on Tony Stark or his family for what the Stark family did to his family back 40 years ago. Now, me personally, I thought Iron Man 2 was slightly a letdown compared to the first one. The flaws with the film for me was, I have a few of them. Gwyneth Paltrow, I felt, was really annoying. And a, a nag. I mean, she's a great actress, and she did good in the first one. But every scene she was in in this movie just felt like she was annoying. And it's like every like I said, get her off screen. It's like, are you serious right now? Just move. She was really like I can say maybe like overacting a little bit too much, which made it really gave which really gave a poor performance in my opinion. Now, John Tito, along with Brenda Paltrow, is a good actor. In his own right, but in this mo, in this role that he did in this movie, it felt like he was uncomfortable with with acting in it. He felt he didn't feel natural. He didn't feel himself in it. He just felt like nervous. He just felt not himself in the movie. Now, Mickey Warwick, uh, he's a good actor too, and there's nothing wrong with his performance in the movie. It's just that one of the flaws of the movie it had is that he didn't have enough screen time. As an enemy, he did he did a good job when he had screen time that he did have, but he just wasn't there. And then as a villain, you're supposed to be you're supposed to be a presence as the villain. You're supposed to be a global threat as a villain in the movie. I know I'm saying villain a little bit too much, but as the bad guy, see, change it up. As the bad guy, he wasn't really a presence there because after the first encounter with Iron Man slash Tony Stark, we don't see him have another encounter with him until the end of the movie. So that for me was a letdown because as as a villain or a bad guy, you're supposed to have a presence in the movie and the movie didn't show that he was actually a, he that he was actually a threat. Now the fighting scenes in this movie or the action scenes in this movie they did have when they had when they had the encounters of Tony Stark and the main bad guy, I thought it was a letdown too when it came to that. Now if you guys don't remember Marvel showed a minute clip of the track scene. Now I'm not going to spoil it for you because if you guys didn't see the movie, I'm not going to ruin it for you. But it was short. For me, I thought it, it was lazy, that track scene. I thought they really could have did a lot better than what they actually did. Because if you're going to show a clip, you're thinking it's going to be a lot more to it. And I'm expecting a lot more, but it didn't show a lot more. It was just a huge letdown for me. The second competition they actually had it was a letdown for me too because it was like, okay, they finally fight. Two seconds later, it's over. It was a big, it was just a big cop out for me. And I thought that they try to redo what they did from the first movie, which worked well for the first movie. But sometimes you can't, you gotta change it up sometimes to make the movie better. Sometimes what brought you there is not gonna bring you back to success in the second movie, and it and it didn't do that. But you think I'm you think I'm really hating on Iron Man 2. I didn't actually hate it. I thought it was okay. It, it was an okay movie. What I did like about the movie is the fact that Bobby Jane Jr., like I said before, is always top notch when it comes to Tony Stark. Now Sam Rockwell did an excellent job with his performance too because um whatever scene he had, he just stole the show. And then if he was with the, if, he, if he was in the scene with Robert Downey Jr., they worked off well against each other. They had good chemistry. It came to working well with each other. Now the special effects that they, the movie actually did have was good compared to the first one. So they stepped it up a level there. Yeah, Iron Man Two compared to the first one was a letdown for me. It was a great no. Was it horrible? 
not not even close. So I, the Iron Man 2 for me gives me, give, I give it about two and a half out of four stars. If you like this video, rate, comment, and if you want to be part of the, of the Avengers Initiative of uh, watching my videos, hit that button right up top. So don't be afraid, just hit that button right there. And if you haven't seen my, uh, if you haven't seen the Iron Man review that I did uh, a week ago, I'll put the, I'll put the link in somewhere around here, here, or here. The Avengers lead up takes us to the God of Thunder, Thor. So stay tuned for that next week and until next time, Movie Nation.